Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone Allow me to introduce myself I am Cynthia Triana from class qualitative research on table I'm a six semester student of English education department at Uhamka University Well, today I'm going to explain about qualitative research with its ontology and its epistemology let me start by giving you some background democratizing information. Here I have three main points for today's topic. The first is, what is qualitative research? The second is, ontology for social research. And the last one is, epistemology of qualitative research. Let's jump into the first topic. What is qualitative research? All right. Qualitative research is the process of collecting, analyzing, and interpreting non-numerical data. Qualitative research focuses on generating meaning and understanding through rich descriptions. It also focuses on quality of experience, trying to describe or understand the essence or nature about human experience. Besides, qualitative research uh, strives to produce a meaningful interpretation of events or phenomena in a particular settings or context. So, the result of qualitative method provides a deep understanding of how people perceive their social realities and, in consequence, how they um, act within the social world. Turning our attention now to the ontology for social research. Ontology is the study of reality and what knowledge is. There are multiple realities exist in qualitative research. And also, it's shaped by context, the truth evolves and changes, and it may use similar context. Ontology refers to what sort of things in the social world and assumption about the form and nature of that social reality. It means that um, everybody has their own perspective, everybody has their own beliefs. So the way I define something may be different from the way you define something. That's why in research we have to um, understand individual perspective what meaning certain people attach to certain terms. However, qualitative research has constructivism paradigm. Constructivism involves belief that knowledge is socially constructed. And yes, as a qualitative researcher, uh, we construct reality. <laughs> so, the researchers take action role in co-constructing the research reality quite often. And because there are multiple realities, multiple subjective and multiple perspective, it is important to researcher to investigate individual point of view. Let's move on to epistemology of qualitative research. Epistemology is the study of how do we access knowledge. Epistemology is concerned with the nature of knowledge and ways of knowing and learning about social reality. Well, qualitative research uses emic approach. The characteristics of emic approach are relativism, truth is created, subjective, talk to people to ask about the decent explanation and empirical evidence, um, need to dig deep, and also understand context. Well, there are two main perspectives for knowing, positivism and interpretativism. Positivism epistemology is an application of natural science methods to social science research, and it has uh, five elements. The first is empirical knowledge, deductivist, inductivist, objective, and scientific. 
empirical knowledge means that uh, everything about uh, everything about knowledge should be measurable and observable. Deductivist means that we are testing the no uh, the knowledge of theories. Inductivist means that we are building the theory of knowledge. The next is objective. Objective means that uh, as a researcher we do not uh, we do not push uh, our subjective view of the world, and but we need to establish an objective of the world, objective view of the world. So the last one is scientific. Scientific means that yeah, as scientists we have to conduct a scientist statement rather than normative statement so the second perspective is interpretive is epistemology well social reality has a specific meaning and relevant structure for the base living acting and thinking within it all right that's all my explanation about qualitative research with its ontology and its epistemology i hope this explanation will be understandable Thank you very much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.